Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. Um, pretty much this video is going to be a few days after that previous video, but in real time when I'm recording it, it's going to be right after that last video where we open up a heavy skyridge pack. And that's because I was we're going to open up this Japanese base set booster pack, and then I'm going to open up some other really cool packs that I'm way more excited about. So here we go. This one. Now this one has 291 on the bottom for the price instead of that 300. I guess it's yen. I'm not that familiar with Japanese currency. So I think that means it's an earlier print, but I don't think that means it has the possibility of having no rarity symbols. I'm not completely sure on the distribution of that, but I believe people said that those come in starter decks. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't want to show anything. Still haven't pulled a hollow man. Japanese packs, man. All right, so we have Caterpie, Tangle. Oh man, the color does look a little bit more rich. Nidorino, we got Diglett, Staryu, another Dugong, Poliwag, Potion, and DCE. So no starters. Oh, we got a Dragonair, man. The quality does look a lot better. This one has great centering. I mean, I'm like holding it down here. I guess I could hold it up to where you guys could see the card a little bit better. Me and my fantastic skills with the camera. I do have some good news. I've got a faster internet service now. So I may try to figure out some kind of live stream thing. I don't really know, you know, if I'm going to be able to do it. But, you know, maybe we'll do something like that. Uh, next up, we're going to open up one of these. These are my favorite things to open up. I don't have many of them left. Wish I had bought more when I had a chance. You know, I tried um, negotiating with the guy and I ended up losing the sale. Now, if you guys remember the last time we opened up one of these, I opened up the Team Rocket booster, or not Team Rocket, the Gym Challenge pack and pulled a corrected plane Charizard, sent off to PSA, and it got the 10. That basically never happens. Not the pulling the blank Charizard part, that obviously pretty much never happens, but pulling a card, sending it off to PSA, and it actually scoring the 10. But it was really cool, very memorable moment for me, and I do have that Charizard in my personal collection now. When I posted on IG, I had some people send me offers, but they were wanting to pay like the same price as a regular um, Error Blanche Charizard PSC 10, but man, there's just no way. I mean, that thing is so much more rare. All right, so we're going to start again with this pack because Expedition still has um, a lot more potential with pulls because there's so many cards that are high end if you get them in PSA 10. Still several that I need. For those of you who don't know, down here in the description, I have a wants list, a PSA 10's wants list, and some cards are not even... Man, I hate ripping a pack. Um, so, if you have PSA 10's you want to sell, and it's on my wants list, I'll probably pay you know a decent price for it in whatever closest to market value I can, but... Yeah, I'm looking for those cards. Uh, if you come across them, let me know. Some of them, you know, I'm not willing to pay a crazy premium on them, but most of the time I'm willing to at least give store credit, if nothing else, for close to whatever the current market value is. Now, I believe this one's what? The second for See the second? Well, that one looks completely different, so I'm going to say it's that card. So hard to keep up with all these packs. I should probably do my research beforehand. Wow, look at that. Erica's Jigglypuff. That's a good one. Sabrina's Abra. Magikarp and the Tangela. Got an Energy. Sabrina's Hypno, ooh, Erica's Bulbasaur, and then Koga's Coughing. I'm going to sleeve up that Erica's Bulbasaur because I'll tell you what, anything to do with the starters nowadays has really spiked in, man. That is like in perfect condition. Centering has a little bit to be desired, but man. The print quality on the, on this whatever print run for Gym Challenge is insane. All right, so this is probably a rare. You know, I pulled a hollow last time. Oh, another hollow, and we got Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. Now this guy right here, he's relatively easy to get a PSA 10, and you kind of tell he's got that same kind of hollow bleed thing going on that the last pack had, but or that the Blaine Charizard had. But the centering is good. Wow, the condition is great. May have a shot just like the Charizard at the 10. What a great pack to start off. Now we still have two Expedition booster packs. This box has really skyrocketed. Like the, I mean, it's got so much potential. What, like I said, it's my favorite set in general. It has my favorite artwork. It has my favorite Charizard artwork as well. Um, I saw what somebody was offering 20k for the box. I've got one up myself, but it's it's really it's a lot more than that. It's much more expensive. I don't want to sell it, but 
you just, I mean, you just never know because you can, um, like, I still need Mew from this set. I'd love to have another Mewtwo and like another Charizard. The only PSA 10 Mew that I see on eBay is the one by Jim at Pokemon. And you can tell he doesn't want to sell it. It's like $18,000 or something. I've been watching for that thing for a long time, and for a while there, there was no card really over $1,000 in Expedition. And now it's just not the case. All right, so we have Shelter, Cyndaquil. Ooh, we got a Squirtle, we got us a Starter. Spiro. Oh, another Hollow. Man. I tell you what, these blister packs usually yield a hollow. I mean, I think every single one of them I've pulled at least one hollow, and most of them have been two hollows. I've got to run out of luck somewhere. Oh, there we go. We've got a Pupitar. And then we've got a rare for Alligator. Oh, and we got another starter, Charmeleon. What a pack. And Metapod. Let me sleeve all of this up before I forget. I didn't bring that many sleeves over here with me. Might have to get some more before I record the next opening. So I've got another video that I'm going to post right after this. There's a for alligator. I don't think I need Vileplume. But you know what? I'm glad we pulled a hollow. The Expedition hollows are a little bit tougher to grade. They have a tendency to have a white nick on a corner or two or four. Let's see what the Vileplume Because I kind of flipped it. Yeah, it's got one right there. It's got one right there. It's got one right there. And one right there. So yeah, it's got a white nick on all four corners. It's very light, but it's still there. Man, we are doing pretty good in this video. The pulls haven't been magnificent themselves, but a lot of good quality. All right, so now we have the Charizard artwork expedition pack. So even if we don't pull a hollow, we're going to get a reverse hollow in it. And that means we have a shot at the Mew, the Mewtwo, or the Charizard. And of course, there's other cards too, like the Blastoise, got the Venusaur, lots of good cards. It's a big set, so it's not likely that you're going to pull something crazy. All right. Let's see. We don't have a different colored card. Let's, that's probably the reverse holo right there. That's going to be my best guess. All right. So we have Moo Moo Milk, Goldeen, Full Heal, Clefairy, Oddish, Rare Typhlosion. So we know that's the reverse holo, and there's not a... Holographic card in this pack. Dual Ball, Energy Removal 2. Okay, so this is the one that's going to save this pack. Oh, I'm out of sleeves. Dang. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a multi-technical machine, number one. Yeah, nothing crazy there. Unless it's like super low pop for reverse holo, but... Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I had fun opening up those packs. Expedition, like I said, is my favorite set. I love to open those packs. You always get a little something in them usually. And then uh, I'll have another video coming up soon. Thanks.